What's up guys, David Moss Jr. here. And in this video, I'm gonna answer all the questions that I keep getting on a daily basis. And I'm gonna review my three plunges. I've got my Polar Monkey Plunge, my Edge Theory Labs Portable Plunge, and I got my Ice Barrel DIY Plunge. We're gonna review it. I'm gonna answer all the questions you guys keep asking and we're gonna get right to it. So let's go. And before we get started, I'd like to take a moment and thank our channel sponsor, Natural Living Supplements. Just visit nattylife.com. You'll find all my favorite supplements from 100% whey, isolate protein, grass-fed collagen. They have amazing essentials such as ashwagandha and beetroot, krill oil, probiotics, and so much more. I love their supplements. And if you use discount code MOSS, that's M-A-U-S, you'll save 25% off everything. And so far, all five-star reviews. Let's get back to the show. All right, so let's start where it all began. So you see behind me, this is my chiller, my DIY setup that I originally did a video on, and I put it into a horse trough that I had on the side of my house. I cleaned it out. I was doing ice baths and that. I was filling it up with water every day. I was going to the store. I was spending 50 to $80 on ice every time I was doing a plunge. And I asked myself, there's gotta be a different way. There's gotta be another way. Like how do, how do they keep aquariums cold, right? If I built myself an aquarium style chiller, that should work. And I was I was too stupid to like go online and to research and to do all the, and actually see that there was plunges out there for sale. And then once I finally did that, I found that they were like five plus thousand dollars. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm not spending five grand to freeze myself. That's a lot of money at the time. So I decided to go down the rabbit hole on Amazon. I found this chiller. It's the same chiller that the plunge uses. Um, and I kind of did the same setup. I, I basically built myself a, a chiller with a pump, with a filter, with the hoses, and it's been working really great. I've since upgraded and I've went to the Ice Barrel. The Ice Barrel is an amazing option for anybody who really doesn't care to get down and, and lounge. I like it because you climb up into it and you get down into it. So this is my DIY setup that I help people literally every week build. It's actually really exciting to help people do this for themselves. And this is where it all began. So we're gonna start So here. the first thing I wanna talk about is the lid. So compared to my DIY setup, which did, ha did not have a lid and things were getting thrown in by this little guy all the time. The ice bear comes with a really good lid. It keeps everything out, keeps the water really, really clean. And it's light and it's super easy to just throw on and take off anytime you want. So I gotta say, if I had to rate the ice barrel as far as the lid goes, which you may not think is important, but imagine having to constantly refill and fill and refill and fill and clean this thing out every time you use it. This is a, I would, I would give it a five out of five as far as lids. Really, really love the lid on this thing. I also really love how simple it is to drain. There's a little drain spout down here. A lot of people are taking my DIY setup and they're actually putting external pumps and attaching it here. I might end up doing that, but if I ever wanted to drain this thing, look, I just turn it and it drains pretty much all the way down to the bottom. Super lightweight, real easy to clean out. I don't know what the material is. I say plastic, but I know it's something cooler than that. Holds 105 gallons. I'm a big fan. I'm a really big fan. So that's the lid, that's the drain. Kind of want to talk about the maintenance side of these things too, because a lot of times people just talk about the size and how much water it holds, which honestly, I don't think is important at all. If you can fit into it, that's obviously important, but most of these things you can, unless you're Andre the Giant. But you got steps that come with it, you get right into that. Ice barrel, I really, really love what you got going on here. Now that leads me to the polar monkeys. I'm gonna talk about the same things on this part of the video. So the lid on this that you can get, it does not come with it, but the lid that you can get is, I would also give it a five out of five. I'm gonna rate these things to five. Five out of five, thing's awesome. It's super stable, super secure, folds halfway. So when I'm jumping in this thing, I literally don't have to take the lid all the way off. I just fold it halfway. This one here is six foot. So I can get all up in there. There's plenty of room. Also has a nice little drain plug down there. It's really cool. Comes out the side there. You can attach a hose to it. Same thing. You can drain this thing without having to move it, which is super convenient. So I would say five out of five as far as lids draining, keeping this thing clean is super easy. And one thing I really love about this setup, how it comes, is you see how thick and big these pipes are? There's a lot of water moving, a lot of water moving the inlets there to pull the water in. The outlets here, it pushes a lot of water, which keeps the water really clean and keeps the water really cold, especially here in Florida. So Polar Monkeys, 
You guys are doing an awesome job. As far as Edge Theory Labs go, this is the most expensive of the plunges that I have. The lid is cool. It is a little flimsy, you can see. I keep mine outside, so I, I didn't full detail this. So the water does end up some, sometimes catching. If you keep it inside, that's probably a better option. But it's a pretty easy, the whole point to the Edge Theory Labs is it's portable, so I get it. You can't have a, a cover like that, put it in a backpack. So it's a really easy cover to take off, right? Take it off, it is. it does have cool little child locks. So on each of these things, there's a, there's like a little code you can use to keep kids from opening it up. I do have to say I'm struggling right now to get my Edge Theory Labs to turn on and actually start working and pumping water. So I reached out to them to see if they can help me, but we're gonna assume it's working for this review and I'm gonna assume everything's working great. So as far as the lid, it depends on what you're looking for. If you're looking for super portable and you wanna take this thing with you when you travel, it's super convenient that you can just take it off, fold it in half and throw it in the backpack that it comes with. It's also nice that you can take this entire plunge. You can drain it out. You can do all that stuff. Now to drain this, it is a little bit different. They don't have a drain plug because it is portable and then you blow it up. So what you would do is you would take this pipe that normally pumps the water into your plunge and you just disconnect it and let, this, let the whole system just cycle through and it would suck all the water down to right there, that little islet. It is still a little bit heavy. So as far as like constantly taking the water out, putting the water in, the portability of it, you'll get used to it because I got used to it, but I would probably, I don't want to, I don't even want to give it a rating because I don't want to be mean, but like depends on what you're looking for. I would probably give it like a three to four because it is a little bit tricky and it is a little bit finicky. But at the end of the day, I get what they were going here. I, I like the crew at Edge 3 Labs. They're really cool guys. Now, because so. this is heavily insulated, you actually notice that the, the tubing is not super duper thick, but it's okay. When it works, it seems to keep the water cold or hot very easily. Hey, and if you're interested in getting yourself any of these plunges, I'm gonna put a discount link to all three of them in the description below, so check them out. All right, so now let's talk about the actual chiller and the components of these of these particular cold plunges. There's a lot more coming on the market. Cold plunging is becoming really popular. So if you get this chiller, I put the link to this one, and uh, it's on Amazon. I'll put the link in the description if it's something you wanna do. A lot of people are doing it. I think the chiller is like 1100 bucks now. When I first did it, it was like 800, so prices are going up. What's up, bro? I love you. You little cutie pie. So it's super easy. I mean, this thing literally plug and play. You can set it, it goes down to 30. You know what, let's do it real quick. So my wife keeps us set in the mid 50s. All you gotta do is hold down the set button. Then you set it to whatever you want. It goes down to 39 degrees as far as the set goes. I'm gonna turn it back up for her. She'll kill me. <laughs> Pretty much if this is something you want to do, you're just going to need to get yourself some hose. I'll put all the links to all of this in the description if that's something you want to do. But you get some hose. I cut a couple holes in the top of my plunge or my, my barrel. I put a little sifter here. Basically, it's a strainer. Just gets anything, any major debris out. And then I've got my underwater submersible pump there. And this is where the water comes out. So I went with thicker tubing. See how that water flow is. If you're in Florida, if you're in a hotter climate, you want thicker, um, bigger tubes, just to push more water, keeps the water cold. It's not having to fight the elements so much. But that's my DIY setup, super simple. This whole setup as far as the chiller and the pump and the strainer and the hoses and the clamps and everything you need other than the barrel or the horse trough or whatever it is that you wanna use, this whole setup was like 1300 bucks. So $1,300 including everything is what I paid. I know it's probably gonna get more expensive as time goes on. And you can literally throw it into a bathtub. But ice barrel, I'm really, really loving this. Now the Polar Monkey setup, this is a this is more of a semi-permanent setup. I mean, you've got a Mac Daddy chiller. This chiller goes down to 37 degrees. A Mac Daddy filter. This is gonna this is like a hot tub small pool filter. So it literally cleans the water better than any of the filters of anything I've used. Thick tubing, a great pump that pulls the water, a lot of water flow, even gave you a little box to keep all the water out. It's just a really good setup. So, I mean, literally it was, when I put the water in, I mean, I set it at 45 degrees. I don't know if you guys can see that. I moved this right here, super easy to just get to and change because of how I put it. But it gets down to 37 degrees and it keeps the water where you had it. So Polar Monkeys, you guys are crushing it. Really, really love your setup and the components. And it was very easy to put together. Matter of fact, if you want to see that video, I'll put it right here. 
But yeah, great job guys. So at first glance, it's super cool because it's compact, it's super easy, it's small, it's not super heavy. You got a nice filter on the back there. All the plugs are super easy to get to. And you basically you just plug it right into the back of this, uh, of this plunge, plug it in and it's super easy. Now where I have struggled and I've struggled since the day I got this thing is to get it to consistently work. I don't know if I just have a bad one or a faulty one. I reached out to the team. I can't even get the thing to turn back on and I've only had it for a short while. So a little disappointed in that, but let's just assume for a second that it was working perfectly. It goes up to 107 degrees and that's kind of what I want to do is I want to set this to like a hot tub, set this to a freezing cold plunge and set that to like the middle of the line so my kids and my wife can use it and do that hot cold contrast therapy. So as far as the components go, looks really cool. A lot of great features. The filter and everything is built right up into there. So it's really nice if like, once again, you're looking for something compact. I just can't seem to get mine to, uh, to work right now. Well, now let's talk about price. Uh, I know the prices are probably gonna change on all these things as the time goes on, as this video ages, but if you did my exact DIY setup and bought yourself an ice barrel, if you use my discount code, it saves you like 150 bucks and sometimes they up that around like holidays and stuff, which is super cool. But if you bought the ice barrel and you bought my entire setup right here, my whole setup is about $1,300 as I've shot this video. I just shopped this out for a friend who's looking to do the exact same thing. The ice barrel is also about $1,300. So $2,600 and you have yourself a full continuous cold plunge in the ice barrel. But once again, you don't have to use an ice barrel. You can do this and set it up in a horse trough, a Rubbermaid tub or anything like that, even your bathtub. So you're looking at if you did this whole setup, starts at $1,300 to have cold water depending on what you put your water in, it can get up there. But using the ice barrel, doing this exact setup, $2,600, not too bad. Now, as far as polar monkeys go, I shop, this is the six foot polar monkey. It's got the monkey verse, it's got the chiller, the, the cold water filter. They have a hot as well. Like you can make the water hot just like you can in Edge Theory Labs, which is super cool. This whole setup was about $4,300 because there was a few upgrades that I got with the lid, with everything like that. So 4,300 bucks to have this entire setup, but you can buy their portal setup, which has the chiller, the filter, everything. I think it starts at $2,300. So 2,300 bucks to $2,600 for mine. At the end of the day, you could get cold for under 2,500 bucks and have a really awesome setup. So Polar Monkeys, I think you're super competitive for what you got, guys. And then Edge Theory Labs for this whole setup is about $5,000. And it comes with everything you need, everything you need to get started. It comes in a really cool back uh, backpack, it's huge. So you can throw everything except for the chiller setup in that backpack so you can bring it when you're traveling or anything like that, which is super cool. But for this whole setup, you're looking at about $5,000. Well, now let's get in it. So I'm six foot one, about 205 pounds. And I'm gonna jump in all these different plunges and I'm gonna show you how I fit so you can see how you might fit. You're gonna get in with me, buddy? All right, so the first thing we're gonna jump in is this ice barrel. Oh dear. So the cool thing is like, if you, can you see me? Yeah. So the cool thing is if you have like knee pain or, or ankle pain, you can just get in halfway. Like sometimes my kids and my wife will just do this. But when you're getting in, you just kind of sit. You just, ah, I feel so good. So you, you kind of get into like a crouching, squatting position, but the way the barrel is shaped. Get your bathing suit on. You want to get in with me? Here, I'll help you in one second. <laughs> so you can pretty much, like I said, I'm six foot one. You can get all the way down to your neck real easily. I'm not super flexible. I am a little bit, but I'm not super flexible, but I like that you can kind of sit. A couple of the downsides are you can get lazy. You can like have your back against the wall of the plunge, which kind of takes some of the effects away of getting cold. You want to avoid pockets. You want to avoid those hot pockets where you don't have the cold water on you. So you kind of, what I'll do is sometimes I'll sit Indian style with my feet and my knees on the bottom or almost on my knees. They weirdly actually fit. And uh, there's actually, I mean, there's plenty of room. It doesn't look like it. it looks like a small barrel, but it's, it's really not. There's a lot more room than I thought there was going to be. And when you want to get all the way down in there and you want to dunk your head, you just dunk your head. It did, you got it for me? Yeah. Can I have it? Oh, thanks bud. You're such a big helper. Yeah, so as far as ice barrel, I enjoy getting in this thing, I really do. It's a whole different experience when you're crouching and you can uh, kind of sit up and down and adjust where you're at constantly than laying down, but there's a place for both. So let's go check these other ones out. And then getting out, you kind of have to swing your foot it's a little tricky, but all in all, not too hard. No, it's not working still. All right, let's get into the polar monkey. This is my, uh, 
I've been doing this every day. I've been getting the polar monkey every day. I love it. You just kind of sit down in it. If you're just getting started, you can keep your arms out pretty simply. But you see where my feet are. My back's not even to the back. I can get my entire body really cold really easily and I have plenty of room, like plenty of room. If I want to do a full dunk, real easy, real easy to do that. Woo! Oh yeah. God, they just did a great job with this. I love the six foot option. It's obviously got plenty of room. When me and my wife first did this, when I first did the unboxing and the building of this, we both got in at the same time. Are you in there, buddy? So, plenty of room, get in and out of this thing. Whoop, almost lost the camera there. <laughs> Super easy. <laughs> Super easy. Love this thing. All right, so let's jump in this Edge 3 Labs. Oh, I'm Don't get in that one, buddy. You will freeze your touch. Oh, oh, oh. So the water's not cold yet. I'll get it figured out, I'm sure. But uh, it's kind of nice. Like, it's, it's once again, the whole point of the Edge 3 Labs is to be compact, be portable, to be easy to take with you if you need to take it with you, and move it around and stuff like that. So it's very wide. This is the widest of these three. So like you have plenty of room to, to let your arms get open. So I do like that. I definitely think they did something there. You can kind of sit once again, Indian style. And there's not a lot of... Look, it's fine. Is it? Yeah. There's not a lot of hot pockets. Oh, get you. <laughs> you stinker. So this one's pretty easy to dunk as well. You got a towel for us, buddy? Yeah, I got so a towel. So it's wide. Okay. It's definitely easy to get in. I got a towel for you. Definitely easy to get out. And it's soft. That's kind of the nice thing is it's soft. It's got a squishy inflatable material. So it's very comfortable if you want to just kind of lounge me. like this. I'm going to get you again. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come here. Come here, come get in with me. Ready? I'll get you. Yeah. So H3 Labs is definitely a very comfortable option. Very comfortable. Now as far as condensation goes and like bleeding, this will bleed. So you probably don't want it inside your house. The Polar Monkey also will bleed. So you may not want it inside your house, but not too bad. H3 Labs won't bleed at all. This one can be inside with no problems. And so to wrap this video up, if I had to rate all three of these setups, I would give my DIY setup with the ice barrel, that exact setup, I would give it a five out of five. It's not because I'm partial to it. It's truly like as far as price goes, comfort, and just really dependability, I've had zero issues with it. And yes, I keep my chiller outside. It was not undercover for like three months, getting rained on, there was a hurricane, ran like a champ. I know it's against everything in the owner's manual, but it's been working, so. I give it a five out of five. As far as the Edge Theory Labs goes, if you're looking for a portable plunge, it's a phenomenal option. The price is up there. I'm having a little bit of issues with getting mine to work and I don't know how to fix everything in it because a lot of it's housed. Beautiful setup as far as everything goes. I would probably give it a four out of five just because there are some other options out there that I prefer. But use this, use this video and use this review to kind of make that you know determination for yourself. Polar Monkeys freaking love them honestly five out of five i give them a five out of five if you're looking for a uh, a semi-permanent plunge something you could put out somewhere have a nice lid half freezing cold beautiful water to jump in at all times easy to keep clean it's it's the right option as far as the price goes and they're super competitive probably one of the more competitive options on the market so that's my ratings if you disagree or you think i failed to go over something please post that in the comments below because i'd love to learn more and if there's some other options out there you think i should probably look at let me know too so there you have it, my friends. I just wanted to do a little walkthrough of these three. I've got, once again, the Polar Monkey, six foot Monkey Verse Portal, the Edge Theory Labs Portable Cold Plunge, and it also gets to 107 degrees hot. And I have my Ice Barrel DIY setup. So now I'm gonna go do my actual plunge and I am gonna do it in my Polar Monkey setup. I have it set at 45 degrees, so that's probably why. I'm gonna get on the phone with Edge Theory Labs and get mine working because I'm sure it's something I'm doing wrong. It, the setup is really good. It's a really good setup. It's the more expensive of these three options, but it's really, really nice and really compact. And then my Ice Barrel DIY, I've got a friend who's working on his right now, so I'm sure I'm gonna get a call from him on how to get a couple of the things set up correctly. But at the end of the day, I love all three of these options. 
post in the comments below which one you think is the best option. If there's any questions that you had that I did not answer, put them in the comments below. If you aren't subscribed to my channel, maybe consider doing that. And at the end of the day, guys, I hope you all have a great day. Take care of yourselves and God bless.